I'm back. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over screeching on clarinet, otherwise known as altissimo. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> All right, so for anyone who regularly watches my channel, um, it can't, can't be regular anymore, because uh, I haven't posted in a month. I really have, like, I just kind of took a break from January, to be honest. It has nothing to do with, like, ad revenue or anything from YouTube, because I don't actually make any. Um, but I, <laughs> for whatever reason, jeez, I just, like, coughed through a sentence. Um, yeah, I, I, for whatever reason, just didn't make any videos. I didn't, I had a few ideas, I just never got around to doing them. Like, I, I got the bass clarinet for one of the things. Like, I really hope this makes it into a video, because I've tried to make so many videos, they don't end up working. Um, but that's besides the point. So today's video is about Altissimo for clarinet. This rapper is going to annoy me. So, Altissimo for clarinet. The normal register of the clarinet goes from low E to C. Um, but Altissimo, and this is this works for flute, saxophone, um, pretty much all. I think I don't know about oboe or bassoon, um, but pretty much all woodwinds come with their built-in registers, which is the register that they usually have played for um, pieces in general. Um, but it's the register that the instrument is built to play. And with that, usually, you can kind of make it, you can kind of fumble some of the fingerings, like make, make them a bit weird, and make your own fingerings to make higher notes and to get higher sounds. Um, so for the clarinet, this is actually quite common. Um, this got popular, I'm not sure when, but this has been popular for a while. And it becomes something that has now been in, now it's just part of standard repertoire. Um, I know for all, like all state and regional bands, um, I believe the, or at least, at least for my, my state, the, uh, limit and range is from E to either high altissimo F, or high G. I'm going to be showing some of the fingerings that I use so it may help some other people because I know some clarinetists struggle to get out their altissimo notes and struggle to get anything higher than an F or a G sometimes which is perfectly fine. Alright, so first note is I'm going to be teaching you um, is C sharp um, and a quick disclaimer by the way um, none of these fingerings you have to use. There probably are much better fingerings to use in the long run. I am only showing you the fingerings I use and think are, or at least for me, it's the best setup I've found for myself. So, let's begin. The first altissimo note is C sharp. It is the first note to come after your uh, C. Um, so there are two ways I play this. One of them is not great, the other one's uh, So basically, this is what C sharp would sound like. Um, so this is the way I will play this in here, you can see. I play C sharp, well, I, there, one of the ways you can, is by playing um, it's just first finger with the register key. You don't, you're not pre pressing your uh, left thumb onto the hole. It's basically like playing a uh, F sharp with the register key. It's not very practical because it has the same technical problems as playing F and F sharp. I think, I'm not sure if you can play, I think you can also play the uh, alternate and do and you can press the two side keys. Um, that's also not entirely practical. So the way I like to do it nowadays is I will play it with two fingers and another two fingers down. So basically, I will do that and I'll have the register key and my thumb on the back. Alright, so the next one we're going up chromatically is D. This is a D, this is I think the standard fingering. You can put down your um, E flat, A flat key down here um, for intonation to make it better. For me, I found I can just get good. I can get fairly good intonation by just playing it normally. So the next note is E flat or D sharp, and this is also probably not the best fingering for it. 
um, that I play it with, uh, I play it just, just like a D, but switching the fingers. So it's your middle finger and everything else. So the next, next note after E flat would be E. And this is played like this. I think this is also standard fingerings. I'm sure there's other ways you can play it. I'm sure there's probably better ways you can play it to make better intonation. So that's how I play it. The next note that comes after E chromatically is an F. So basically you're just playing the E and then you add the side, um, side G sharp, C sharp key. The next note we have after this is F sharp or G. I just gave, I just took the middle finger off. <laughs> um, all right, so the next, the next note uh, we have is F sharp. Um, and so basically what I do for F sharp, and again, it's not probably the best way to play it, but I do just middle finger. I do middle finger and, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, but from now on this is gonna be constant. Um, this is gonna be thumb and register key, make that constant. Um, and this is F sharp. Next note after that is G. And I know for a fact, this is not the way most people play it. Um, but uh, I'll tell you, this is something I will play just like this. So this is done through overblowing. Um, this is used in a few of the Altissimo notes, but I basically do it by uh, playing a C, and then go and just overblowing and getting a different tone. That didn't come out a whole well, but basically it's... Alright, so G-sharp is basically the same as the G. I'm just adding the A-flat G-sharp key right here. This note is also probably not great. Alright, so the next note is another overblown note, and it is the same fingering as E. Um, this is an A. So you're basically overblowing E. But after that, now we have the difficult, really difficult notes. Um, this is the B flat. So this is the high note in uh, the Lucky Chops version of Hello, in case you're wondering. The next note is B natural. It's the same fingering. Um, you're just going to want to press these two side keys, and that will get it up a half step. So, um, so after, yeah, that's, that's B natural. And the last note after that is a high C. Now this is a big, bad note. It's a hard note. And you're probably not going to see this unless you do like professional band. I'm not in professional band, so there's the reason I've learned this is completely pointless. Um, but basically, you can uh, w with with these altissimo fingerings, you can now play an octave higher. So your initial highest note would be C, and now you can go an octave higher. You get good enough at altissimo. So this note is also really really weird, and you can do the half hole um, left thumb thing. Basically the way I do it is one and one, so your B flat, E flat thing, and then you add your, I think some people call them the fork key, some people call them the banana key, so yeah, that is a high C, let me go, let's, 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 let's do it. Alright, so that is enough screaming for me. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Altismo on clarinet. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment some video ideas, because not that I'm running out of them, but I, I'd like to uh, I'd like to incorporate my audience in more of my content, rather than just doing music videos, and you guys only hear my voice if you stick to the end of the video. Uh, <laughs> um, but basically, guys, um, I have kind of wanted to put more feeling and more effort into my videos, not that I don't put in effort, but it's, it's more of more passion and more enjoyment out of it. Not that I don't enjoy playing music. I absolutely love playing music. But it 
it, for whatever reason, I like making these sort of videos as well. I don't think there should be a balance. I don't think it should be just music, just music videos constantly, constantly, constantly. Um, sometimes I want to do stuff like this. So, um, if you have any other ideas for stuff like this, I already have a few ideas planned out that I'm hopefully going to be doing um, in the next month or so, weeks. Um, but, yeah, uh, until then, I'm going to see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.